well, more and more parts are getting bolted onto it. So, as you can see, we got the spoiler and the trunk lid. They need to be rubbed out. Gotta color sand it down and buff it. And to be honest with you, that trunk lid, I may end up repainting it. Um, if I can get the light in it just right. When the spoiler is bolted on tight and the hinges are bolted on tight, um, I noticed there is a slight, you can't really see it, but there's a slight buckle right in the middle of the stripe. Kind of pisses me off, but you can't really see it in the uh, in a camera view here, but trust me, it's in there. It's noticeable when it's out in front of the house. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the spoiler. That's kind of cool. Been laid down quite a bit, shortened up, three piece, so that way just looks tight and clean, I think. Car's sitting a little lower, which is good. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll get much lower. Uh, might, might end up going with uh, some lowering blocks on the back of it to, to get it down to the top of the rim. But we'll see. There's a lot of parts that have to be bolted onto it. It's going to add some weight. It'll settle the car down quite a bit further, um, hopefully far enough. So, got the brake lines all routed and in. Brake pedals in, there's no brake fluid in it, but this is the master cylinder and how I ended up plumbing everything. So, um, these I'm going to pull off and turn it into one of those. So um, basically it's an adapter. Um, turns it into a single flare instead of a double flare. Um, double flare is just too hard to do with the stainless steel. So there will be a little bit of redo work there. No big deal. Um, I did paint this tonight. That's why the garage floor is wet. So that's done. Well, not done, but at least painted, and I can uh, come back at it with the uh, do some cutting and buffing on it. So yeah, it's another one of Jake's helmets that. Uh, I'm experimenting with as well so not like I don't have enough to do right so anyway that's what she looks like so far see ya